We recently discovered the existence of an international criminal organization with ties to former Nazis. Rumor has it, this bill's an atom bomb. It was the inception of the spy movie, really, that was the 60s, where it established a genre. We have no choice but to work together to infiltrate this organization. We'll leave you two to get acquainted. The important thing to me was some kind of contrast between the two characters. You had America, you had Russia, you had blonde, you had dark, you had slick, you had rough. So contrast was important to me. America teaming up with Russia. That doesn't sound very friendly. He got into the black market and he was dealing antiques in the black market and he became very, very good at it. Obviously, I was briefed about your criminal background. Or Interpol, so whatever, international police force. Um, and the CIA then jumped in and said, instead of going to jail, how about you work for us? Because you're clearly good at what you do. Your balls are at the end of a very long leash held by a very short man. It wasn't much of a question, it was more of an ultimatum. And so he was forced to do this, and this is how he ends up working for the CIA, very reluctantly. But for him, it's certainly better than being in jail. Your special forces, KGB, the youngest man to join, in fact, and their best within three years. He's just a classic KGB spy. He grew up in the system, grew up in the Soviet Union. I do wonder if it was your father's shame that gave you such drive, though. His lifelong goal has always been to be an operative for the KGB, and now he has it, and he has risen through the ranks, and he's become sort of their top operative. He's very by the books. He's very much a calculating, cold spy. Was it your mother's reputation? I understand that she was extremely popular amongst your father's friends. See you tomorrow. Billy and Solo, who by the end all know they have to go together and work together, they need to take her out because they think that she can be the key for them to be able to find this German um, scientist. Hold on, cowboy! For a special agent, you're not having a very special day, are you? One of them is looking this way and wants to go that way, and the other one is saying, nope, you're wrong, this is the way we have to go. The thing is, I work better alone. I work better alone, too. What is it? Super hardened boron sharpened with a CO2 laser. Yeah. And they can't escape each other, and at the end, they sort of realize that it is a, something that makes them a good team. CO2 laser. Coming? You know, he, as much as I might look at, or as much as Ilya might look at Solo and be like, this guy is an amateur. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Not very good at this whole subtly thing, are you? He'll be like this for 20 minutes. Can't touch. At the same time, he just broke us into this secure facility with a paperclip. Like, that's pretty impressive. You know, so they end up being a good team despite the differences. She deactivated the alarm. Model 7010 doesn't have an alarm. Loving your work, cowboy. The matter in hand is so grave and urgent to the uh, uh, well-being and, and safety of the world. So they set off to find these um, villains with that nuclear bomb. Absolutely hate working with you, Carol. You're a terrible spy, cowboy.